now today. Journalist Penny Marshall has been reporting on Brighton becoming the capital of UK hen parties. Every weekend, the city centre is transformed into a booze fueled fancy dress party with women drinking copious amounts of alcohol and proving that it's not just stag do's that have uh, a chaotic reputation. Now, while Heidi Mirza, Professor of Equality uh, Studies, says the hen party trend is an expression of modern female liberation. Dress it up, why don't you? Penny mm. Marshall concludes that the article by saying, uh, if this is equality, you can count me out. She's not having it. So, are these types of hen parties doing a disservice to sisterhood, do you think, ladies? Well, I'm all for the sisterhood, and I think there's absolutely nothing wrong in giving a really good mate a send-off if she's getting married. But I think it's just getting more and more outrageous, and I... I see, you know, normally sort of regularly behaved people suddenly turn into complete weirdos on their hen night. And, and because, you know, this, I, I never understand why people almost have like a personality transplant just because they're getting married. It's like, it's my one last chance to do everything really, really bad. <laughs> and I'm going to do it. And, it's, and I think the blokes do do it more than the girls on the stag nights. I mean, you know, blokes going with prostitutes and things like that before they get married because it's their last chance. It's insane to me. So I don't get the idea that women feel they have to behave in the way that men do. Well, that's and the thing. Equality, you see, this thing about... I now go on about it all the time and I'm very boring before anybody... But being equal to a man does not mean you have to drink as much as a man. Mm. It really doesn't. And that whole thing about the sisterhood... Well, do you tell me then, if you're in there with the sisterhood, why do you spend half the night drinking and then flashing your what's it at men and grabbing hold of them? Where's the sisterhood in that? <laughs> yeah. I can't. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> I honestly don't. I think you're being really snooty about it. Now, it's, not. No, because it's not about equality. It's not well, about girls saying, saying I'm is. going to do what boys do. It's just that girls are having a good time. What's wrong with that? I was at an airport recently, you know, one of them airports where lots of people go to places where they have hen and stag do's. And that's a good thing because, you know, we have cheap foreign travel now and people don't... You know, people generally don't sit at home, women especially, knitting and drinking tea on their hen nights. No, they that's... like to go out and they like to go abroad. The airport was absolutely teeming with women dressed in pink cowboy hats with t-shirts on and not much else with so-and-so's hen and actually I thought I don't want to be on that but I quite like the idea of it. But I mean I, they look like they were the having a great time yeah. and what's wrong with that? There were also no, loads of stags everywhere. nothing wrong with having a good time but why does falling down, being sick at the end of the night, you know, Lose it. Why They're is that fun? They're not all doing that. They're just out on a good night, dressed up, to celebrate someone getting married. This is a new cultural thing, I suppose. It's you just know, it's another way of, of getting drunk. It's, it's part not of that. Well, what's wrong with that? Anyway, what's wrong that, with that? There's nothing wrong with getting drunk if you can hold your drink. And actually, there's, but there's nothing equal about falling down drunk. There's nothing but feminine also, attractive about it. I agree with you, Linda. It's dangerous. I think women are much more vulnerable than men in that situation. Yes. Uh, I, I, I think it can be fun, but when Same it goes that numbers. far, it can be quite dangerous. Yeah, but if you're all off your nut, I mean, who's going to, you know? <laughs> but you're, I think you're missing the most important part of, of that whole hen night, and that is um, to go out with somebody that is a really good friend to you, uh, to you as they embark on a new chapter in their life and give them, as you said, a proper send-off. And, and it's not just about going out and flashing your knickers and getting drunk and falling down. Yes, you do consume a lot of drink. You have a good time. Um, and my fr you know, last year my friend Shiara got married and we decorated the room where we she had her hen party with loads of pictures of her life. We celebrated her but life to that lovely. point. No, but then we got drunk and fell down. No, no, but, you, <laughs> but at least you were celebrating her life. But you I were think focused most of these on women her. are. Not, well, I don't think... I honestly no, don't honestly, think they Bella, are. When, when you get to a stage where they don't know where they are, they get lost, they fall over, they can't find the loo and then they sit and But you're, what, what you're forgetting is this kind of that's... gang mentality which is so um, important to women, I think. There's pressure on women sometimes to behave badly and be wild no, on, no, on no, a hen night. No, 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 you're missing the point. You're missing the point. So with, with a hen do, normally it's something that's planned way in advance. It gets together, does it not? All of the people that you don't see all year, but they'll make the special effort to attend an important occasion. And then you all dress up. There's a, there's a big build-up to it. It's lovely. Yeah, I, I think, think, it, I think it pulls people together. It's fantastic, but I have to say, the ones I've bumped into on a Saturday night, don't know who the hen is. And I'd rather go out with men as well. <laughs> yes, exactly. They lose them. I'd rather have mixed company. I mean, that would be a really good people, night. People have different ways of having a good time. Not everybody's like you. Not everyone's like you. Well, you I'd know, have a spa weekend. Out, you know, self, people actually. probably would sit at home knitting and drinking tea. That's not my idea of a well, good me time. me neither. But Excuse no, me, I know I'm old, but I'm not exactly, that. But, you know, and, and, 
Seriously, Bellas, anything that involves drink these days, you no, disapprove of. True. But you've had your no, no, fun. That's, you've honestly, given it Carol, up. You know, you've that's, been there. That's so not true. I must answer this. It's not about how much you drink. It's what you do when you're drunk. If you can't hold your drink, and if you honestly think it's going to make you equal to a man falling over and being but sick in the street, who that. wants to be equal? I'm not no, saying that's that. What well, that was my Nobody's argument. Nobody's doing about... it because it's like, oh, the boys do it. We're going to do it. What is wrong with just girls having a good time on a hen night? If they see it as just getting drunk and going to Marbella, it's dignity. What's wrong with that? It's about it's remaining it. dignified. Why? Because you're going to get married, do you think you have to throw all your principles and morals out the window for one night? Because when you get married, you won't be allowed to do it anymore. Well, you're married. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Then you've got the wrong man. OK, and if you've got a few choice words of your own to say on any of our topics today, uh, then please let us know by going to our website or email.